welcome back to the vlog. So it is actually one o'clock now and it is Wednesday and it is June 1st. So a lot has happened since I last vlogged. I've kind of taken a little bit of a break. I don't even know the last time I posted a vlog. It was sometime in May and then I got super busy. My brother got married, which was a really good day and um, school ended. So that was really amazing. Happy about that. And then I've just, I don't know. Summer has had a really weird start for me this year. I was sick and then the terrible shooting happened in Texas and it just really tore me up and I just did not feel like doing any kind of posting or vlogging. I don't know. I just, I was not in a very good headspace, but here we are June 1st. I think I'm ready to vlog and I have a lot to kind of catch you up on because like I said, I haven't vlogged in quite a while. It's already one o'clock. My hair is in a towel. I just got a shower at, I think I got in the shower at like 1230. I put on just like a skosh of makeup just to help me to feel more alive and not so dead. So this morning I was supposed to go to the pool with my friend who also lives at our same at our same apartment complex and I was just like I was not feeling well this morning so I didn't do that. I canceled those plans but I'm hoping that she and I will go on a walk this afternoon. We like to walk our dogs together so that's kind of on the agenda for today. I want to share with you some kind of like monthly reset things. I've already done my monthly reset. I did it a few days ago, worked on the budget, you know like all my typical monthly reset things but I do want to share just a little bit of what I'm working on in June and just kind of chat and share my day with you guys. I have not had anything to eat today, which I know is not good, but I, I just, I was not feeling well this morning. So we're gonna go and make kind of like a quick little easy lunch and we're gonna eat that, probably make an afternoon iced coffee because I didn't have coffee this morning. I've just been trying to drink lots of water, but basically, so yeah, so school ended and you, if you've been watching any of my vlogs this year, you know, like it has been an extremely hard year. I'm very, very thankful to be on summer break. So our kids last day was the Friday. We had field day. And then that afternoon, Matt's mom also came that day. We went down to Alabama so that we could celebrate my brother and now sister-in-law getting married. So we did that. We came back. I had to go back to school one more day, which was a Monday, and then we were done. So I'm actually moving classrooms. I'm still staying in first grade this coming up year, but I moved down one door or one classroom and I get to be by two of my teacher besties. So that will be a really fun year next year. So I'm going to start posting some kind of like more teacher classroom content, like maybe mid-July because I'll have to start preparing for that because we actually go back at the very end of July or like the teachers do. And then I believe August 1st is our first day back with the kids. All right, we're gonna go make some lunch and then we'll finish kind of chatting a little bit later, but I am famished. So we're gonna go make lunch and then we'll finish chatting. Matt and I went to Trader Joe's the other day and I got the like TikTok famous multicolored baby's breath, so. I thought that was really nice. I've got those on the counter and I don't know if I ever shared this, but this is one of my pottery bowls that I got from Third Bowl Pottery, who is um, based out of Georgia and I love it so much. I just have my avocados in there right now. Oversized graphic tees and biker shorts will be my summer uniform and I am honestly just here for it. It's super comfy and I don't wanna wear anything else. I hope you guys can hear me. They are pressure washing outside of our apartment and they're like getting the pavement and the doors and everything so it's really loud. But I wanted to share this really quick and easy healthy lunch. I've made it a few times before but I haven't made it in a while and it's really good. So you're going to need some chicken breast, just like the canned chicken breast, half of an avocado, some lemon pepper seasoning, lemon juice i would prefer to use fresh lemons but i don't have any so we're just going to be using the bottled lemon juice salt and pepper and then the original recipe calls for um finely chopped celery but i don't have any celery so we're just going to not add that and make do but it's basically like a healthy tuna salad i found it on pinterest one time and made it and it's so good so you can eat it with like crackers and i don't have any like good crackers i have cheese it's which i know are not very good for me but we're going to eat just like the tuna salad with like a handful of crackers and then maybe even do like a side of watermelon as our healthy lunch today so i'm going to mix all of this together and then that's what we're going to eat for lunch
at this sweet baby all curled up in my blanket. Hey, sweet boy. Oh, he's so tired. You tired? All right, plans for the rest of the afternoon. I finally dried my hair, got semi ready for the day, and it's 2.07 now. So I've had lunch, dried my hair. I am still planning on going and moving my body. Um, I think Freddie and I are gonna go take a walk at four. I thought my friend was gonna go with me and she still might, but she is actually at the pool right now and she was saying, you know, if she's not too zapped by the sun that she would come. So I kind of took my little paper, wrote out some of the, th some of the things that I'm still wanting to do today. My sense of like overall schedule is so messed up during the summertime because I'm not on like any kind of set schedule and like a loose routine. I really want to get better. Oh, my dad's FaceTiming me. Okay, just talk to my dad. Um, but anyway, I was going over the things that I wanted to do kind of the, like the rest of the day. So we're gonna have our quiet time, move our body. I wanna do like a 30 minute pickup because the house is just a little untidy right now. So we're just gonna spend like about 30 minutes. I want to do a little bit of prep for tomorrow's vlog and then organize at least one thing today. Like I've had, there are a few things on my list to organize and I just wanna pick one thing on that list if we're feeling like it and organize that. So that is what our to-do list has on it. So really quick before we kind of go ahead and get started, I wanted to tell you I'm really excited because over the summer my plan for this channel is to do two vlogs a week. And that's pretty ambitious for me because I've never done that before, but we're gonna attempt to do two. And my thoughts are that I'm gonna do keep Sundays because I always do like a vlog on Sunday. So I'm gonna do kind of more like a day in the life or a week in the life vlog on Sundays. And then on Wednesdays, I also wanna post a vlog and have it be like a shorter, more educational vlog, like where I'm sharing something like tips on how to do something or just something like, something like that. So actually the plan I put on the to-do list was to prep for tomorrow's vlog. I plan on doing a clean restock and organize my car with me. And I want to like share, I'm gonna go and get the car washed, we're gonna get it vacuumed and we're going to clean and organize it and possibly go to the store and get just a few things because what my, my plans are to actually do Matt's car instead of my own car that I drive every day because we will drive his car to the beach when we go, not this weekend, but next weekend. And so I can go ahead and just get his car all ready to go. So I'll probably do his car instead of mine. But those are the plans for tomorrow's vlog. I just have to make sure that I've got everything kind of like organized and ready to go for that. All right, so we're gonna do our 30 minute cleanup because as you can see, the kitchen is kind of a mess. I haven't even made the bed up this morning. It's just, it's not looking great. So we're gonna go ahead and do our 30 minute pickup and then we're going to make an afternoon iced coffee and we're going to kind of review our monthly reset. Um, I've done these videos before. I'm not gonna do like a whole giant thing about it, but I just like to kind of hold myself accountable by sharing some of the goals that I've set for myself for the next month and just share some of the, some of the things that I plan on doing. So we're gonna do our 30 minute cleanup, afternoon, afternoon, I can't speak today. Afternoon, iced coffee, and then we're gonna jump into our monthly reset things. do the other day was cleaned out the closet and it looks so much better I'm gonna insert some clips of like how it looked before but here is the after I think it looks so much better so it's way more organized I actually took all of the shoes off and then wiped everything down then put them back kind of like how I would wear them so like right now it's summertime or actually technically it's still spring but like 
I'm on summer break. So all of my sandals are on top because I wear them the most. Then I've got some of my purses that I kind of tend to grab more. All of my jewelry, extra sunglasses. Um, I'm going to put the camera right here, some of Matt's hats. All of his suits are organized to like where you've got pants, jackets, button downs, all of that. Some of my clothes are down here with Matt's shorts. Um, some of my longer dresses, boots, and then we've actually got some of Matt's hats that he wears. So like these are his three favorite hats and he can change them out if he wants to. And then I've got one of my beach hats. And then I think both of these hats actually belong to his dad. So they're really special to him. So we've got those on display as well. And then on this little bench, I've got some of Matt's extra shorts right there. And then right here, I've got like some of my pants and shorts, but oh my goodness, you can actually walk in the closet and it's amazing. <music> The bedroom is looking much better. Freddie is enjoying the freshly made bed as well. We're in that season where he loves to be outside and since I'm home, he will go and wait by the little balcony door for me to open it. And he goes and he sits outside for like 20 minutes and then wants to come back inside and then he wants to go back outside as soon as he cools down. It's just like this vicious cycle. All right, we once again have a tidy home that always makes my heart so happy. So now we're gonna go and make our iced coffee and I'm going to kind of show you how I make it and the things that I use. And then we're gonna hop into our monthly reset things. Like I said, I'm not going to share everything, but I do like to just put it out there on YouTube so that hopefully it will hold me a little bit more accountable for kind of my goals of the month. All right, so here's our little coffee setup. We do have a Nespresso machine and the milk frother that goes with it. And so these are the pods that I like to use. These are just the Starbucks um, blonde espresso pods. So that's what we're going to use. I tend to like blonde espresso more than anything. And here is our milk lineup. So we're actually going to use this lactose free milk because sometimes dairy will hurt my stomach. So we're going to use this as like the main milk product. And then I am going to do just a little bit of this creamer as a sweet cream cold foam on top. So we're gonna put that in the milk frother and get it all frothed up. I think if it's just a little bit, it will be okay. Matt's mom actually bought this when she was here staying with us and then she didn't use it. And so we're going to use it up for her. There we have it. Sometimes I'll do a bigger one kind of depending on how I'm feeling. And then I'm actually going to put just a little bit of ground cinnamon on top. I love adding cinnamon to my coffee. Okay, so I just took a few sips of my coffee and it is so good. I love adding that cinnamon to the top. But that is my current way that I make coffee. I do kind of want to learn to switch it up a little bit. I didn't even use caramel in it, but I do want to learn how to make a caramel latte. That's kind of like my next thing that I want to learn how to do. I think it's pretty similar to how I make my drink now, or at least I think so. Oh my goodness, Freddie and I just got back inside from our walk. He is dying. I am dying. I wore my hair down like a dummy. I don't even know what I was thinking. But we're back inside now. We walked for 26 minutes, almost 27 minutes. So now I'm gonna take just a few seconds to kind of cool down and then I'm gonna get my iced coffee and we're gonna do just a quick little catch up. 
Oh, I've been looking forward to this iced coffee all day long. So I didn't do a reset video. I was initially planning to, and then like I said, I just was not in a very good headspace with everything that was gonna with everything that was going on. So I did my monthly reset off camera. I mean I, I do it every month regardless, but so you guys know I love using my Erin Condren Life Planner. It's my absolute favorite. At the beginning of every month, there's a new picture of a flower. And so this month, it is a rose. And it says, love, gratitude, grace, and friendship. Embrace the fullness of life. And I just thought that was so perfect because it's summer break for me. And I am trying to do that for my monthly reset. You know, I always like to go back on the previous month and kind of look at my goals, see what I accomplished, all that jazz. So I'm not going to do that. I already did that. But I am going to share with you kind of my little June update, if you will. So for this, normally I do a little section for my school to do is like just two or three things that I would like to accomplish for that month. But since I am out of school, I actually changed it to YouTube to do's because I am trying to kind of grow my channel. I'm still obviously very new and still working on consistency. That's like one of my biggest things is like, I struggle being consistent with things and so it's something that I'm working on but I did two just hopefully achievable things so number one was begin posting two videos a week possibly Sundays and Wednesdays one shorter educational video and then like one longer vlog and so so far that's kind of what I'm shooting for and then my other one was try to post on stories every day and do a post at least once a month with like a photo dump on Instagram because I am not consistent at all on Instagram and it's just, yeah, it's something that I need to work on if this is something that I truly want to do. And then for my June goals, you know, I always like to do four, four really reasonable and achievable goals. So the first one was more consistent quiet time because that was actually a previous month's goal that I did not accomplish. And it's something that I'm just continuing to work on. So we're gonna have, hopefully do more consistent quiet time, read as much as possible. That was number two. And so far I've been doing really good with that. Number three was to take my anxiety medicine consistently. So I think my keyword for the month of June is consistent because I've already used that word so many times. And then number four was focus on moving your body. Then I like to do either a quote or a Bible verse for the month of June. And for June, I ended up doing a quote and I put your dream is achievable. And I just really like that because I am trying to work on some dreams for the month of June. And then the last little section that I'm going to talk to you guys about is my, my vlogging schedule. So far, Sundays will be a vlog. So that's just going to be basically like whatever I want to share. And then a shorter educational video on Wednesdays. So the ones that I have right now are clean, organize, restock my car with me, pack with me for the beach where I share like tips and tricks, things that I'm doing to help us to stay organized for our family beach trip because it's not just me and Matt, it's my whole family um, on my side. And then another video that I wanna do is propagating slash repotting slash taking care of my plants. I wanna share like a little plant video with you guys. And then for the last vlog, I do wanna go and do a monthly reset because I love filming those, I love watching those. It's just one of my favorite things to do. All right, our HelloFresh box came and we are actually going to make dinner tonight using HelloFresh. Funny story about HelloFresh. So I actually just canceled our subscription to them because one reason, managing my account was too hard. We actually really enjoy the meals from this food service, but I always forgot about going in there to change my card or like, if we didn't wanna get meals that week, like they didn't send good reminders, like, hey, like don't forget to go check out your card, make sure that you want everything. We do have HelloFresh this week, but it is completely unintentional. So anyway, we're just, we're making do with what we have. So we're gonna unbox this and pick a yummy meal to eat tonight. Like I said, we, we really do like the meals and I canceled it just because I was tired of worrying about it, but I think it will be really easy when I'm ready to, I can just go back in there and, get it again. So we're going to open this and see what meals they gave us. I know that I went and looked and unfortunately two of them, two or three of the meals that they sent were pork and I do not eat pork. So when we went to the grocery store yesterday, I did buy like a really big thing of chicken. So what I'll do is I'll make whatever they have and then I'll, I'll go ahead and make the pork and then put that away for Matt to eat and then I'll make chicken for myself. So let's open this up and look at what we have and pick a meal to eat tonight. 
All right, so we have a spicy Peruvian chicken, steakhouse style pork chops. So that's one where I would make the pork chops, but I would also do some kind of chicken instead. That one comes with a creamy pan sauce, roasted potatoes, and lemony broccoli. Chicken and chili roasted broccoli salad. Ugh, that one has, oh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the dressing. Some kind of dressing, cranberries and almonds. I don't know how I feel about cranberries. And then a saucy pork burrito bowl. That one sounds good, minus the pork. I think we're gonna do the saucy pork burrito bowls because that one, the prep is only 10 minutes. It only has to cook for 25 minutes. And it's actually pretty good as far as calories go, 650. That one seems good. All right, let's make that one. All right, so step number one is to get our rice ready for the meal. So I'm gonna get our saucepan out. And I am gonna do two proteins. I'm gonna do chicken and the ground pork. I'll save the ground pork for Matt and I'll eat the chicken tonight. But they do, they like, they package everything so nice and cute for you. So we've got a poblano pepper, aroma tomato, some white wine vinegar. Look how cute it is in its own little tiny bottle. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then we've got some rice right there. What is this? Tex-Mex paste. Ooh, the red pepper crema. This is really good. We've had this in a few other recipes from HelloFresh. And then an onion. All right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Not on like the highest heat that it will go, and then we're gonna get like three fourths cup of water. All right, I eyeballed the water. Hopefully that's about three fourths cup. I'm just too lazy and I don't wanna get out a measuring cup. All right, this chopping board is an Amazon find and we love it. It comes with all the different colored mats and each one you're supposed to like use certain things. So, I think this one is chicken, yeah, poultry, beef. This one's like the dessert. The blue one, yeah, the blue one is like for veggies. I will link this down below because if you were in the, like, if you're in the market for a cutting board, I think this one's really great. We're gonna half this onion and then for half of it, we're going to actually mince it up really nice. And then the other half, it says to cut and do half inch thick wedges. All right, and then we're gonna take the poblano and we're going to core, de-seed and dice it. And then lastly, we're gonna take our scallion and slice it into really, really thin pieces and separate the whites and the greens. All right, so all of our veggies are ready. And now our next step is to make the salsa and crema. So in a small bowl, we're gonna combine tomato, minced onion, and then half of the vinegar that came in that cute little bottle and then season with salt. And then it says you place the smoky red pepper crema in a separate small bowl, stir in water one teaspoon at a time until it reaches a drizzling consistency. All right, for this last little bit, I just have to cook the veggies. So I've got to get my frying pan, do a little drizzle of olive oil and do the poblano peppers and my onion wedges. And then it says to put in your salt with that. And then you cook that for about seven to nine minutes, transfer that to a plate, and then we do the meat. So I'm gonna do, since I'm doing two proteins, I'll do the chicken first because I, ugh, I don't like pork and I, the thought of like mixing that makes me wanna throw up. So we're going to do the pork first. So after I do my veggies, I'll heat olive oil again in the pan and then add in my chicken with half of the scallions that I did. And then we'll add in some of the Tex-Mex paste with some water. Get that all ready i'll put that in a bowl and then i'll do the pork and do the exact same thing i'll put the put some scallions with it and then tex-mex paste tex-mex paste and then some of the water all right here was what we were going for and here's what we made obviously i changed out the protein so i've got chicken in mine but say it looks pretty good and then i also did a little meal prep for matt so he's got some right here that I'm gonna put in the fridge for him, but it has the pork. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of a taste test. Looks really good. I didn't even know that I liked poblano peppers until we started using HelloFresh because I honestly had just never bought them. I'm trying to get a bite with like everything in it. Get some of the chicken. Okay, here we go. That's really good. The pepper crema sauce on top like, I didn't think that it was going to do much for it, but it's good. And that Tex-Mex paste, mm, 
so good i would say i would give this a like an eight out of a 10. Like it's not my favorite meal ever, but it's definitely really good and I'm gonna eat all of it. All right, so I'm gonna sit here, eat dinner, probably watch a little bit of YouTube and then I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. All right, we have a nice clean kitchen. I wipe down the counters. We've got our pretty flowers and our really pretty jar right there. And now I think I'm going to light a candle. One of my favorite things to do like when the, when the sun starts to go down, I like to light a candle and kind of turn on all of our lamps so that the house just has like a really pretty glow. Alexa, turn on desk lamp. Alexa, turn on couch lamp. And then we're gonna turn on the twinkle lights. All right, I'm back on the floor, my favorite place to sit in our living room even though we've got a couch a desk chair and two other fairly comfortable chairs I am about to end this vlog I've had so much fun just taking taking you guys along my day as a teacher on summer break but really quick before I leave I'm going to do my quiet time a little bit later when I get in bed and probably do a face mask too I've got a Burt's Bees face mask that's been in the fridge for a little bit which pro tip if you don't put your face masks in the fridge mm. i'm telling you oh it's a game changer it's funny because matt is actually the one he went to target one day and was just trying to be sweet and bought me a few face masks and i love the burt's bees ones and one of the workers was there and she was telling him that he needed to tell me to keep them in the fridge that they were so much better when they're cold and they are so we'll probably do that a little bit later but i couldn't end this vlog without doing a quick little book update because one of my goals was to read as many books as i could and i also wanted to share just in case maybe we have similar book taste matt and i went to the library yesterday this is my cute little bag that I take with us when we go. It just says um, Nashville on it. All right, so the first book that I'm going to share that I got from the library is Enola Holmes and the Black Baroque. I think I'm saying that correctly. Um, it is a young adult book, so if you're not really into that, then maybe don't get this one because it's not really adulty at all, but I love young adult fiction. And I mean, I'm a teacher, so I also like to kind of be able to recommend books to people if I need to. So I have raved about the Enola Home series on my channel in previous vlogs. This is currently the last one that's available. So I'm only on like chapter two. So I can't really say how it's going yet, but it's so far so good. And all of the other ones are really good. If you've ever seen the movie on Netflix, the Enola Holmes book with um, Millie Bobby Brown, she does such a great job as Enola Holmes. So if you're kind of wondering if you should read the books, go and watch the movie. The movie is so good. Obviously, like I, I love the books. The books are always so much better, but the movie kind of gives you an insight as to what the books are kind of about. So that is the book that I'm currently reading. But then I also got two other books to read. And next week, our plans are to go to the library one more time because like I mentioned earlier, we do have a beach trip coming up. So I want to go and get my beach books. And for the beach books, I like to do really fun beachy reads. I know that sounds like super cliche, but it's true. Okay, so I also got The Forest of Vanishing Stars. I love historical fiction, particularly World War II. It's one of my favorite genres. So I have already read a little bit of this one as well. I'm on chapter two. And so far, this one is good. This one is about, it's a young woman uses her knowledge of the wilderness to help Jewish refugees escape the Nazis until a secret from her past threatens everything. So I'm not gonna read too much because I don't wanna give it away, but this one seemed really good. So I'm reading this one. And then a book that I haven't started yet is, I think you pronounce this Skive. So funny story, a girl that I follow on Instagram who also has a YouTube channel, a messy bun teacher, I think is her name, but she and I actually teach in the same school district. And she was talking about these on her Instagram one day, again, young adult. So if you're not into that, then maybe you won't like that one. But she was saying that this one gives off like Hunger Games vibes. And I loved that series. So we're also going to read this one. But I just wanted to give you a quick book update. Those are the three that I'm currently reading. And I plan on adding in some nonfiction as well. I really want to read um, I think it's called 12 Ways Your Phone Is Changing You. I keep them on my Goodreads account because 
like every time every now and then I'll go and just kind of scroll and look for books that sound interesting to me so the other one that I wanted to read so 12 ways yeah 12 ways your phone is changing you um and atomic habits I have heard so many good things about that book and since consistent is basically my word for June and I struggle with consistency I figured that one would be a really good one for me to read all right friends so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog I hope that you have enjoyed I have loved having you guys come along with me on my day as a teacher on some break but I am super excited and looking forward to doing two videos a week at least that's the goal we're gonna try really hard to get that done and hopefully just meet some goals this summer too but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next vlog bye There is a life I lead